Welcome to DTV. I'm here with the man of the moment, Jack Varney. Jack, thanks for coming in. No worries. Thanks for having me. Now, we all know a bit about you as a footballer, but today it's about letting the supporters know you as a person. Now, I'm going to start with the big issues. I hear that you are growing your hair so you can wear the headband. Is it true? Uh, yes, I've had uh, many fans on, uh, on the Twitter ask me whether I was going to wear the headband uh, next season. Uh, I was thinking about growing the hair long for summer, yep. uh, the luscious lux, and uh, I think that could be a possibility. Okay, <laughs> and will you be rocking the same headband as your dad or are you going to find your own style? Yeah, I think I might go a bit original there, um, maybe black one or something like that, mix it up a bit. We look forward to seeing that. <laughs> now, your girlfriend, what yeah. does she think about the hair? Charlotte, would you like to Charlotte, give Charlotte a yeah, shout out? Charlotte, yeah, um, Charlotte. No, she's been fantastic and uh, I think she's uh, not fussed whether I... Uh, grow the hair or short. I think she looks good, thinks I look good with uh, with the length hair. Now, I did hear that you played a bit of a prank on Charlotte this morning. Would yeah, you like I to did. tell us about that? Yeah, um, no, I sent her a text this morning after I found out and I uh, said I uh, got some bad news and I was off to Gold Coast. Uh, she ended up texting me back saying uh, she was in tears. Yes, and, I'm sure she uh, was. <laughs> didn't end up too well, but... That's no, all fun and games, and uh, she'll forgive me. She's forgiven you. Yes, I'm yes. pleased. <laughs> now, back to your home life. Um, we heard before that when you are around the club, you will refer to your dad as Todd. Yep. What nicknames have you got for him at home? Uh, uh, fatty, I reckon. <laughs> so, uh, lazy loves the couch. So, uh, that is not uh, a good way to get recruited, calling yeah, your dad fat. <laughs> I know um, in his playing days, I used to call him fat, so... Uh, I think I'll stick with that. Stick with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so around the home, a bit of banter with your dad. What else do you like to get up to in your uh, spare time? Uh, you know, I love love watching some movies. Um, huge, huge movie fan. What's your uh, favourite? Uh, I think uh, Never Back Down, um, The Green Mile. Yeah. Uh, there's some classics, and uh, I think they're great. Um, but yeah, just just anything really. Just put my feet up and. Um, you know, a bit of Xbox. Uh, my brother's into all his gamings and electronic stuff, so I uh, hang out with him, yeah. And do you get in the kitchen much? Have you got a signature dish? A uh, signature dish? Uh, grilled cheese on toast, I reckon. <laughs> that is not a dish, that's, <laughs> that's a snack. That, that'd be it, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that's going to go down well with Dave Wilson as your pre-game snack. Yeah, yeah. Not quite not, nut not nutritious enough. Nah, I might have to, uh, I guess, get in the recipe books there and uh, cook up something a bit different. <laughs> Good idea. And if we were to pick up your iPod, what would we find on that? Uh, I'm a bit of a like, hip-hop man. I uh, love my beats, and uh, so that's pretty, uh, ma mainly dominates my iPod. Do you but get along too many shows? Nah, nah. Uh, just uh, just on the iPod. Uh, yeah. Chill out at home and get the big uh, big earphones on. Great. But, uh, uh, that's good. I also heard you were a bit of a fan of Jessica Melboy. Is this true? Yes, yes. Uh, Australian girl, uh, Australian idol. I remember watching her when I was a bit younger yeah. and uh, she's now um, kicking on and doing some great things and I'm a massive fan of her. And, Supporting uh, Aussie talent? Exactly. I plan on uh, going to watch the, uh, the Sapphires. Oh, uh, very new good. Movie, so yeah. I heard it's pretty good. There, m music and movie love joining exactly, together. Exactly, joining together. Perfect. And so, living the dream now, becoming a demon. What would you be doing if you weren't playing football? Um, you know, I think I've got a um, pretty high uh, kind of value on school, so I'll be probably doing a bit of study next year. I wasn't playing footy, and um, you know, hopefully one day uh, and I own a few properties, um, some basically a bit of money. <laughs> Great, sounds good. And if you were going to uni, did you have anything in mind? Yeah, I was doing. A, um, I'm thinking about doing a uh, commerce slash property and real estate um, course next year part time. Uh, that tickles my fancy, and uh, I think that's a good way to go. Excellent. Now, you're on board with the Ds, and as you know, we've started our membership campaign yep. this year, First and Forever. Yes. Would you like to encourage our loyal supporters out there to get on board as a member? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's going to be a good, good year next year. Um, I know the, bo the boys have been growing, and uh, with the new coach, Mark Neal, he's uh, been a great enforcer. And um, no, I, I definitely know that the Melbourne Footy Club's in the right way, so uh, get on board now while you can, I reckon. Excellent. Thanks for joining us, Jack. No, thank you. Thanks for having me.